Hi, in this video, we will discuss quadratic equations. A quadratic equation is a polynomial equation of the second degree. Quadratic equations appear frequently in mathematics, so it is important that you know how to solve them. Now here's the definition of a quadratic equation and some common ways to solve them. The definition of a quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, where a cannot equal to zero. Some common ways to solve a quadratic equation are solving for x if b equals zero by factoring or by using the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then there are two distinct solutions. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then there is one solution. If b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then there are no real solutions. In our first example, we have x squared minus 16 equals 0. We will first notice that b equals to 0, so in this case, we just need to solve for x. Rearranging the equation, we end up with x squared equals to 16. Then, by taking square roots on both sides, we get x is equal to plus or minus 4. So, in conclusion, our answer is x equals to plus or minus 4. In our second example, we have x squared minus 2x equals 3. We can solve this question using factoring or the quadratic formula. However, since the coefficients in this example are not too complicated, we will use factoring. We will first rearrange the equation to get x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Then, since we want to use factoring, we will first split the negative 2x into plus x minus 3x. Then, we can factor out a x from x squared plus x and a negative 3 from negative 3x minus 3. Then, we can factor out an x plus 1 and get x plus 1 times x minus 3 equals 0. Therefore, we have x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. So we get x equals to negative 1 or 3. So, in conclusion, our answer will be x equals to negative 1 or 3. In this example, we have 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0. By using the quadratic formula, with a equals 4, b equals negative 12, and c equals 9. Subbing into the formula, we have negative negative 12 plus or minus root negative 12 squared minus 4 times 4 times 9, all divided by 2 times 4. Then we have 12 plus or minus root 144 minus 144 all divided by 8. Then, we just have 12 plus or minus root of 0, all divided by 8, which is just 12 over 8. After simplifying, we get an answer of 3 over 2. So, in conclusion, we have x equals to 3 over 2. In our last example, we have x squared plus 2 equals to x. We will begin our solution by first rearranging the equation to x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. With a equals 1, b equals negative 1, and c equals to 2. Then, we can see the value of b squared minus 4ac will be 1 minus 8 which is negative 7. And we know that if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, there will be no real solutions. So, in conclusion, 
we have no real solutions. We have discussed the different methods of solving quadratic equations and gone through a couple of examples. However, there are other ways to handle quadratic equations, and you may certainly use them when possible. Now here are some practice questions. 